Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Encyclopedia. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then, welcome to France. It's the 18th century, and we are a bunch of researchers and adventurers who are helping to put together what is, at the time, the greatest collection of information about the natural world, the um, History Natural, I believe, or something like that, or Natural History. 36-volume uh, work, uh, incredibly thorough and detailed, and it won't happen without us. I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-play run-through. I am the green researcher, and these are actually very nice tiles, and they can be a male or female. Very, very nice. Jen over here is the blue researcher. And um, I am the first player, which means I start with two coins and one expedition token. Jen's a little bit better off with three and two. Also, Jen got first dibs when we were drafting for animals to research. And Jen saw there were a couple of animals both on the Asian continent. So she grabbed those, which then left me a few others. So I mixed and matched a bit. I've got, oh, what is this? Um... How about we focus? That would be a good idea. Uh, uh, a Peraria uh, Canada from the Americas. And down in Australia, we've got uh, Phenocopterus roseus. All right, which are both birds. And the important thing is these birds, uh, they are, they're from different continents, so it's going to be tough to research both of them, but they have a lot of the same attributes. Three out of the four attributes are the same. They just have different habitats, but they like the same climate and food, and they are the same type of critter. Okay, so I um, tried to get you know uniformity with my attributes. Jen tried to get uniformity with the continent itself, and we are ready to go. Now, this game is going to take place over six rounds. And at the beginning of each round, we find out what the Royal Institute is going to give us as a bonus. All right, everybody gets another expedition token. Hooray! That's not too bad. Sometimes you flip it over and it's nothing. You get nothing. But today, we're, the uh, Institute was feeling a little generous. Okay, now we go to the bag and everybody draws four dice and rolls them. Draws and rolls. So here comes my four. All right, and here comes Jen's four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now, our first big decision has to be, where are we going to assign these dice? And what I mean by that is there are four slots for these on my player board. And I've got to put one in each one. I'll go on ahead, let's see. In this game, generally speaking, higher value dice are better, although not always. I'll put this fiver over here on the two coin space. I'll put this four on the two prestige space. I'll put this uh, two on the three point space. And I'll put this one on the you get nothing space. Okay. Jen's got to do the same thing. Now, this is going to make sense in a little bit. All right. Oh, Jen got a purple six. That is exactly what she wants to study her purple animals. So she will go on ahead and put that here. She'll put that there and she'll put that and that there. Okay. So everybody does that. This will make sense in a moment. And now we start doing the dice worker placement. And since I'm first out of the gate, I can use any four of my dice to uh, go get more monetary investments in our enterprise, go and get more expedition tokens, hire scientists or experts who will help us get more animals to study, actually launch expeditions to study those animals, or publish our findings, which is, as you might imagine, the main way we score points. So I've got four actions. And here's the thing. I could use any of my dice. Or I could use Jen's. If Jen's got the perfect die that I want, I can come over here and say, oh, I'll use that, thanks very much. But Jen will get a reward. She'll get two prestige, or two coins, or three points, or nothing if I take this die. Which is why she put her least valuable die here. Um, because if I'm going to steal one of her dice, she at least wants to get something for it. So, uh, I'm not going to worry about hers right now. I'm actually going to use my crappy one, uh, my one, because... Like I said, usually high value dice are better, but there's one big way that low value dice are just fine, and that is by going over to the bank and getting more funds. Because no matter what value die you place there, you get five coins. I started with uh, seven, now, or five, two, now I've got seven. Also, the first player to put a die at the bank holds on to snags and holds on to the first player marker. So I will be first in the second round now of the six rounds. No one can take this from me. And that was my turn. It is Jen's turn. And she says, oh, phew, I've still got this. Oh, I'm going to use my beautiful purple die. 
And there's a bunch of things she could do. She could come over here and get some money as well, but that would be foolish because you might as well send low value dice there. She could spend over here and get th um, a five or a six will get her three more expedition tokens. She can come up here and use this to get a uh, another researcher or another expert. And if the expert matches the color of her die, she'll get a bonus. But she's she doesn't feel she needs any of those. She's going to use this. Uh, she could come over here to get more animals to study. Um, but unfortunately, there are no purple animals. There's no more Asia animals. Jen's doing none of that. Jen's going right to Asia. She is going to go out and try to study these creatures uh, to get information that she will then be able to publish later on. Okay, so that's how we're starting. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can get a better idea of what's going on. Well, when somebody goes to Asia, the first player to go there to any of the continents takes the leftmost space. The first player to do it gets three prestige. If Jen goes again later on, or if I go on in th this round to Asia, I'll get two. Third player to do it gets one. And if a fourth player does it, they get nothing. However, um, one nice thing is players who come later benefit from those who went earlier. Because if you go later, Later, your, the value of your die you send is increased by one, two, or three. So if I was the last person to come here with uh, you know, a purple three, I wouldn't get any prestige, but it would actually be a purple six effectively, which would form the basis of my expedition. Okay, so uh, I need to get myself all of those sweet, sweet prestige. So let's come over to Jen's board and she moved forward one, two, three. And because she crossed this line, she just got herself another expedition token, which she's very happy about. Okay, so that's pretty nice. And now she starts to explore. She starts with a value of six. Every coin she wants to spend to invest in this, and she has three to spend, adds two more to the expedition. So she could go with a value of nine. Every expedition she adds to the expedition, every expedition token, I should say, adds two more. So if Jen wanted, if she spends everything, she's got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She'd be going out on a level 15 expedition. And the higher the, uh, the, the, the uh, proceeds you can build up, the better. Because you spend those expedition points down here collecting knowledge. Now, there's another thing. You can use these expedition tokens to give you um, plus two to the value of your die, or you can use them to change the color of the die. If I had gotten Jen's purple die, she could have come here with her red die instead, Still, but she'd have to spend this to turn it from a red into a purple, which means then she'd only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to pump in. But since... She had the purple. She did not have to use any of her expedition dice to change the color of the die. She's going to go heavy and try to study the heck out of this crocodile and this crane. I am not even going to try to get, say the proper Latin pronunciations for them. Okay, so remember you saw on my cards, each uh, car, uh, you know, each uh, animal we're trying to study has a, uh, a type, a, uh, you know, a, you know, what they eat, what their uh, preferred environment is, and what their preferred climate is. These are also known as the level 1, 2, 3, and 4 attributes. You want to know as many things as you can about these animals before you publish. And um, since these are both in the Asian continent, Jen can study both of them at once. If Jen had you know, a different one, then if she went to Asia, she'd only be able to study this. She couldn't study this because she would have had to go to the Americas. But anyway, so Jen's going to be able to study both of them. And she would like to get as much possible. Remember, she was. She had 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, well, um, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 15. She has a total of 15 points if she burns through all of those resources. And with 15 points, she could say, study um, a, uh, a level 3 element, a level 2 element, and a level one element, as an example. So she could study all of that, and she would have, and she'd have a little bit left over. I think, first of all, she will study the uh, the was it the genus. This is a reptile. This is a bird. So Jen has studied both of those. That required um, two, so that took four. So that took four of her six. She's down to two plus whatever else she's going to do. Now she can keep studying. 
And um, I think she'd like to study the level 3s of both of these because they actually match. These are both aquatic-based animals. So that, um, the level 3s, is going to cost 7. That's 14. She's got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If she had spent more time raising some funds, she could do a little bit more thorough study. But she wanted to rush right out before maybe somebody grabbed her purple dye. So she just went with what she had. So she doesn't have quite enough for that. Let's see. The level 2s, that costs 4. So if she uh, studies the meat eating habits of this uh, Storky Crane type bird. That's going to cost her four. So here goes one, two, three, four. All right. So she spent that. And actually, you're not supposed to be keeping it. You're just, you, you can just keep track as you're going. All right. So, so she's burned through all of this. She's still got this. She will study, and, and she studied the level two. She'll study the level two. That, that costs four more. She will spend one, two, three, four. All right. To study the level two, the meat eating habits of the of these alligators. Oh, and by the way, when you study level twos, you get a point. If you study level threes, you get two points. If you study level fours, you get three points. So Jen just made two points in her studies. Let's go on ahead and get her working her way up the track. And she still has three more points to spend. That is not enough to get a level three or a level four. So Jen's gonna hold on to these. She's not gonna use them, and her expedition is over. A much bigger, more elaborate thing. Now, she could start publishing the results of these, but um, it's a ideally, you want to have as much information as possible so that when you go to publish, with one action, you publish tons of cubes. Because the more of these cubes you get off of your published animals down here, uh, the more points you're going to get w in a more efficient way. So Jen's getting ready to publish. You know what? Actually, thinking about it a little more. Thinking about it a little more. Sorry. Um, hold on a second. I really should have, right. So what did Jen have? She had 15 total, if I recall correctly, right? It was 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What if Jen goes another way? What if, forget about those two points there. What if she spends 14 to do just the level 3 and just the level 3? Just those two level 3s, let's say. That um, cost her 7, 7 is 14. So that left her with one coin at the end. She burned everything else to just study both of those. Now, studying level 3s gets her two points, so she just made four points. And the nice thing is, these two things are combined. The interesting thing is, when you're going out to research, you want to have a lot of animals of the same uh, location, the same continent, so you can more efficiently research. In a single action, you can research a bunch of stuff. Whereas me, i got to do multiple um, trips because I've got different continents to go to. But when you publish your works, wherever possible, you want to have as much overlap that matches. Because um, you can't just publish everything. If I say that, hey, we're gonna, I'm going to use this, this as my reference, I can publish anything about this card plus any other cards that have matching attributes. So, um, these have two matching attributes. They're from the same place. They both have the same water. But if I said, this is my lead, and I had already studied about the... Uh, say I'd gone the other way, right? And I say, oh, I'm going to uh, uh, publish a study about this. I say, oh, I'm, I'm, it's a study about birds who are omnivores. This is not a bird or an omnivore. So it would be very inefficient for me to publish and try to get the most points out of both of these. That's why paying a little bit more, not getting as much studied, but getting matching traits studied is such a big deal for Jen. I think she's happier with that. Plus, she made two more points off of it, although uh, she's got even less cash left over now. So anyway, that was her first turn. It is now my second turn. And again, I've got my own dice or I've got Jen's dice. If I take her dice, I'm giving her a benefit. Unless I take her crappy one. And why would anybody want that? Well, I might take it. She won't get a benefit, so I'm not helping her. And I'll just get some more investment. You can see how having a whole bunch of coins on hand helps out when you make an expedition. I don't have to rush right out like Jen did. I can actually get some investments for that expedition before I go. And because I used Jen Dai, I didn't give her any particular benefit. So I'm not feeling too bad about that. And Jen's like, well, okay, I don't know if I feel very good about that. Okay, so that was her. I just did the same thing. I'm just earning money. Um, right, what is Jen going to do? So, she's got uh, a yellow one. She's got a red six. And she's also got access to mine. But here's the thing. If she uses any of my dice, I will get a benefit. Because I already used my crap die. Jen didn't use it. So, if she takes my blue six, she I get coins. If she takes my red four, I get prestige. If she takes my yellow um, two, I get points. Now, the reality is... 
all, every player is going to get to do four actions. It's just a question of how many bonuses will you get if people borrow your dice from you. So, anyway, Jen is up. Now, Jen, she could just rush right out the gate and publish her findings here. But the problem is, if she's publishing findings about a purple animal, she needs purple dice. There aren't any anywhere. So, what Jen could do is... Uh, well, she needs another expedition token because that lets her change the value of dice. So is she going to do that? I think so. Jen is going to take her red six. Although if she leaves it and I take it, she makes money. And so that's a tough choice. But here's the deal. When you go and get expedition tokens, you want to send a five or a six because that'll get you three tokens instead of two or one. So Jen could take my five, but I'd be giving her cash. Jen says, nope, I'm just I'm going to stick to myself. Jen's going to come over here. That gives her three expedition tokens, which could be used on a future expedition to um, you know, increase the value of a die that you send out there. But they can be used for any function to change the value of dice. So um, Jen might be publishing some stuff pretty soon. Okay, back to me. And right, so I... Ooh. Uh, I have enough money, I think. I mean, I've still got these little... I could just go get some more cash. But, I mean, cash isn't going to do anything for you if you don't actually do the research. And, um, unfortunately, Jen just burned the red six that I was planning on grabbing. Because that's not cool. I was going to use that red six to go to the Americas and study this lovely... Um, uh, uh, Paroya... Uh, I'm not... Why am I doing that? Uh, to study this bird! So, that's gone. I mean, I, I, I've got my own, but this is only a four. But I could still go and study with it. So let's heck, let's do it. Let's go study now. Or, 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 or. You know what? Before I do that, before I do that, I think I might go and recruit an expert. I'm not going to do that. Experts are nice. Uh, um, so I can use any die to come up here and grab any of the experts. But if the die color I use matches the expert, I'll get an expedition token. And then if I go on the expedition, I'll be that much stronger. Uh, so this is another place where it makes sense to send low value dice because the value of the die doesn't matter. Same as over at the bank. Uh, it's just the color that matters. So if I send this yellow die, or I could send Jen's yellow die, but then I'd be giving her three points. If I send this yellow die, then I could get any of them, but I'd rather get the yellow. I'd rather get um, um, Adamu uh, Ashanifa. Which is an ongoing power I would have for the rest of the game. That for the rest of the game, whenever I use dice to recruit future experts, I will get two points. That's pretty nice to have. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a yellow. Now, this could give me anybody, but if I, since I get a yellow, I also get another expedition token. Hooray. And this is the first of my four experts I have on hand. And now, in future turns, if I spend dice to get experts, I also score points, even if the colors don't match. Okay, so it is now Jen's turn. And Jen says that uh, she is going to go on ahead and publish. Right. And unfortunately, if she uses her little one here, uh, the problem with that is we have a little summary reminder here. That when we want to publish, the value of the die we do use determines the value of the findings we can report. Remember, Jen studied level threes, the environments. So Jen needs to spend at least a value five die to be able to do this. So if she uses her own die, then it's only a one. Now she could pump it up with a coin, but these expedition tokens can be used to change color. They only um, change the value of a die on expeditions. So Jen... Cannot uh, with only a two, Jen wouldn't be able to report anything about these animals other than their um, their uh, continent. So this one doesn't do her any good. So Jen is going to have to help me, which she's not happy about. She'll go on ahead over here and take this blue five, and she is going to publish findings. Now remember, she's publishing about. Oh, oh and you don't put it here. You put it on the animal that is your lead reference animal. Now this doesn't match color, so she'll spend one of these to basically turn this blue into a purple, and now she can publish. Since she is using at least a level five die, she can publish information about the species, the uh, eating, and the habitats, not the climate preference. Now, she would have had to use a six, but she didn't study that anyway, so that's fine. Uh, she's, uh, but she's ready to publish, 
and uh, she picks her lead, and uh, for, she goes from left to right. Is she saying anything about the lead, uh, their, their climate preferences? Let me uh, zoom in on that a little bit more. No, she's not, so we're skipping that. Then she moves on here. She is definitely studying that these are aquatic-based animals, and she's got two of them. Um, now, if this other animal was not aquatic, even you know, if it were like this and Jen had studied. Jen, uh, because she said, hey, this is my lead reference, I can only publish information about aquatic animals. So she wouldn't have the opportunity to publish about um, you know, tree-based creatures. That's why when, you, uh, gather, when you're drafting these in the first place, you're ever possible. You want to have overlap on these. The, the, Jen just grabbed them because they overlap the continent and maybe you just study, but they only had one overlapping feature. So that's why Jen, she's just studying these really fast, the one common feature she's going to publish and then she's going to move on. So anyway, so she's publishing this and this because it matches. She had already gotten the four points, but now she gets up on the big board. What was it? Oh, it is uh, water-based stuff. And since that is a level 3 attribute for each one of those level 3 cubes she just published, she got 5 points. So she just made 10 more. Uh, up to 14. She is on the big board. Okay, so we're done with that. Then we move on to um, you, she looks at her reference. Hey, I'm publishing if, if she knew it she could publish information about carnivores. And this one, plus any other carnivore from any continent that she had gone to, she'd be able to publish. But as it is, she skipped that. Then we move on to, hey, this is a bird. This is a car She didn't do either of those. But then the final one, hey, they're both from the same continent. And um, that's worth something too. Now that's just worth a point. So she gets two final points there. And um, the information about these animals is done. In her first round, Jen went from 0 points to 16 points. That is pretty, pretty good. And now finally, of all the animals that she published from, she takes those, right, so this, this is done. She takes those, and if they were from the same continent, she keeps all of the ones that match the continent she published in a separate supply for end-of-game bonus scoring. Because there are big points to be had for specializing in one continent, both in terms of the animals and the experts, because there are the same colors for the continents or can be found on those experts as well. Now, if this other one ha hadn't been this crocodile, but say had been this, right? Uh, you know, this would have been interesting because if you know this had been Jen's lead, then hey, they're both water, they're both carnivores. She could have potentially published information about both of those, made a lot more points off them, even though they're from different continents. But then afterwards, since this was her reference, she'd keep this for bonus scoring at the end, and the non-matching continent would go away. But that's not what happened. Jen um, just uh, banked two cards for big in-game points based on Asia. And maybe she'll want to continue focusing on Asia like a laser. And actually, for reference while you're going, this is interesting. It's a two-sided thing. This uh, gives you information about when you're publishing. On the other side is all the information you need for scoring at the end of the game. Because you get scored, uh, the more cubes you put into a given category, and Jen's already started to put two on studying water creatures, the more points she gets. You need to get at least four points into this bucket to score three points. But if Jen really focuses, says to 10 or 11, she could score a ton of bonus points at the end of the game. You will also get bonus points based on the number of of experts and cards you have banked away for each of the different categories as well. That's what that one is. Then there's points for leftover seals and various other things as well. Speaking of seals, by the way, very important, I forgot. Every time you publish, whether it's a big publishing of tons of information from tons of different animals that you spent a lot of time you know, practicing and preparing for, or whether it's just a really quick one like what Jen just did, you always get exactly one royal seal. These are awesome. You can use them um, to increase the value of a die by five. You can use them to get five coins. You can use them to take a bonus turn. And if you never use them at the end of the game, they are worth five more points. So you want to publish a lot. But um, if you do a lot of fast publishings like what Jen just did, you're, you're not being very efficient about getting all your cubes into the right spot. So you can do massive super points uh, swings with just a single action. But hey, the more of the quick ones you do, the more of these you get as well. Oh, and speaking of get bonuses, Jen took my die. I don't think I ever took my two coins, did I? I should really do that. Okay, so that was a big move for Jen. It is now my turn. <gasps> oh. oh, I just noticed. Okay, no, but no, no. All right, I, I'm running out of time. So either I use uh, my red four, which means to, to do my, to go research in the Americas, or I could change the value, or I could do anything with that, or I use Jen. Now, if I use this, I'm giving Jen three points. 
which is not great. But then that means Jen is forced to use my die, which gives me two steps, which gets me another expedition token. So, honestly, I would happily give three points to Jen so that she would be forced to give me two expedition po uh, two, uh, prestige points, which then gets me a, a, another expedition token so I can have a stronger expedition later, or I can use I can exercise more control over the dice. So I could do that. And I could just take this and just get some more money. And X, yeah, I, I'm going to do that. I'm totally going to do that. Third time, I'm just making all the money. I'll wait. I'll do expeditions later. Later days. I'm just setting myself up for a really big super expedition. All right. And so Jen got three points for that. One, two, three. She's not complaining. And now Jen has no choice. She must take this, which in turn gives me one, two. Um, right. Gives me another one. All right. So when I do eventually do an expedition next round, it's going to be ginormous. And what is Jen going to do with this red die? You know what? I think Jen needs to go study some new creatures because she's out of creatures to study. So she'll come over to this neck of the woods. Uh, over here, the value of the die determines how much prestige you get. This is a four, so Jen gets two prestige. One, two, and that says, hey, get an expert for free. Um, Right. So, and now here's another interesting thing. If she spends a coin... To turn this 4 into a 5, then that means she actually moved up 3 steps. Moving up one more step got her 3 coins. So she spent 1 coin to get 3 coins. Nice. Now still, before she actually get, picks what animal she's going to get, it's going to be a red animal unless she changes the color of it. So it's going to be this. You know, this is the only red animal out here. She also gets a, um, oh, what do you call it? An expert. So what is Jen going to do? There are several experts to choose from. In addition to this, this little hedgehoggy type, uh, can I prehensus? Um, anyway, so what expert does Jen want? This one is just get five points instant or five coins, just a instant. It's like going to the bank um, without having to have spent the action, and then it's gone. That's what the little lightning bolt is. This one says every time Jen goes on a green expedition, she gets three points. Now she didn't just pick up a green animal. There are a bunch of green animals out there though. She could have turned this uh, into a green five to get one of those and then taken that. So that's actually really interesting because that's an ongoing power if she really wants to focus on um, green, which is Australia. If she takes this expert, this says, hey, every time you use your dice to publish findings, we just saw Jen do that, score two prestige. And the further you move on your prestige the more bonuses you get. If Jen keeps climbing, she will immediately get a uh, an animal for free, and then she'll get a royal seal for free. Then it'll wrap back around. You want to keep on pushing that prestige as fast as you can. And so, if Jen gets this, that then definitely puts her in a spot where she wants to do lots of fast, inefficient um, publishings because she gets prestige every time she does it. So this one says, whenever you do research on a level 4 attribute... Remember, Jen, she researched level 3 attributes. If you research um, their preferred climate, not only do you get 3 points, but Jen would be getting 2 coins every time she does that as well for the rest of the game. And oh, this one is... This says, at the end of the game, um, put 2 of your cubes on the carnivore track. Because remember, the more you have in each of these buckets the more points you score. And so, you know, if Jen really focused on carnivores and, um, you know, was was up to nine, that's 22 points, but then two more would send her to 35. So, I mean, that could be a huge point swing at the end of the game. If she takes that, then she really wants to focus on carnivorous creatures. And this is not. This is an herbivore. So I don't think she wants that one either because I don't think she wants to waste an expedition token to change the color. So therefore, she doesn't care about that either. I think she likes the idea of getting this one, though. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Although, remember, she likes purple. The more experts and studied animals she has, the more points she gets. So maybe she should go for that one instead and try to study level four traits, which give you the most points, and then just publish about them really quick. But no, but she can't get both. She can only get one of those. Ah! Yeah, I think she's going to take good old, uh, what's her name? Adriana Zarek over here. And that this is her first special power. Okay. That she wants to publish like crazy and keep on pushing the prestige every time she does it. So that was her last turn. Folks, we have finished the first round, which means we got to do a bit of cleanup and then move on to round two. But there's one very important final step. 
If at the end of the round, after everybody's taken their four dice actions, if anybody has these royal seals, they can spend them to take another turn before these creatures and these experts disappear, before um, we move on to the next round, or maybe even in the game. I don't have any. Jen has one. Is she going to take another turn? You know what? If there was another animal out here, maybe she would. Another red animal so she could focus. Okay, are there any of these animals that match? All right, so... This is a mammal. It's herbivore. It likes trees and it likes sunny climates. There's a trees and sunny climates with this snake. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, there are not any good matches. So I don't think Jen is going to blow her five points or her five bucks or whatever she might use this for to get an animal that doesn't really play well with the one she's already studying. So she's going to skip. And now, although if she didn't, what she would do is, if she spent this to take the extra turn, she would then pick any of the dice... Take that die so she knows what color it is, but she'd have to re-roll it. And she would have to hope it gives her the number she needs. Although, of course, she could manipulate that number. Now, as it happens, Jen is not going to take that extra turn. She's just ready to move on. So, bye-bye to all of these critters. Someone else will have to study them. Bye-bye to all these experts. Somebody else will have to hire them. Bye-bye to all of these dice. They all go back in the sack, Jack. And we'll be getting some more next round. And we move on to round two. Let's see. And we've got a snake and an alligator crocodile thing. A cute little fuzzy squirrel. A, uh, a vulture or a condor. No, it's probably a vulture. A very funky... Uh, oh, and a narwhal! Or narwhal, or as they're also known, the uh, monodon monoceros. Monoceros. Monodon monoceros. Oh, I want to study that just because it's fun. All right, and some new experts come out. We've got a purple one that um, lets you double down on sunny climate studies. Whenever you go and get expedition tokens, get three points. That's nice. Uh, making you better at study rainy climates. Whenever you go and draft animals, get a prestige. Uh, this is whenever you use a red die any place, it's implicitly plus one more. And another one, uh, get more studies on grassland animals at the end of the game. Let's see what we get for round two. Oh, it's a happy day. Hap, happy day. Everybody gets an expert. And remember, I am first player, so I will get first dibs on these experts. And um, what do I want? Oh. Let's see, you can see you have four slots for experts. Although if you need to take a fifth, you can you know retire some of your existing ones. What do I want to do? I've already got this one that says, hey, every time I hire experts, I get points. Now this doesn't count. This shows I have to use a die to go out and get my experts. So, hmm, um, I think I really like this idea of just every red die I use for the rest of the game being plus one. Yes, please, especially since I'm planning on using some red dice to study this this uh, bird. All right, so Jen gets one now. Uh, if there was one that made her better at studying, see, what is she going to, there is sunniness. She could try to go for this climate thing and study that. And, um, you know, so she could start making, let's see. Or, or, or did she, I mean, she didn't study that, Sunny. So if she goes for that, she's going to want to try and study um, sunny animals for the rest of the game. And there is one out here. There's two, in fact. Interesting. Or every time she goes and gets expedition tokens up there, she gets two points. Or every time she goes and gets animals. I think I think she likes this. I think she's going to try to now really focus on the sunny side of the encyclopedia. Okay, so that was our bonus. And now two more experts come out. Let's see. And, uh, oh, one that gives you coins every time you study the level three attributes, their, um, their habitats. And, oh, plus two on purple dice, but only when, or I'm, I'm sorry, plus two on purple expeditions. Right. Okay. So uh, now we are good to go. Oh, 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 and the last thing, the most important thing, the dice. Everybody gets their four dice. Uh, what do I got? I'm hoping to see some reds. Oh, that's a terrible. I got. I'm hoping to see some high value from Jen for reds. Let's see what she's got. All right. Oh my gosh, two level one reds. What the heck has happened here? And now, once again, like before, everybody's got to slot those. Um, you know, based on um, their overall strategy. Urgh, two crappy reds. I'm probably going to have to turn. Uh, I, mean, I want to have a big successful uh, expedition to Red Town. Now, here's the thing. Do I want to go get another red animal so that I could study two animals when I go to the Americas to study? I think so. I think so. I got the only six. So I have to worry about Jen stealing this six. 
Although, I don't know that... I mean, she, it's, she needs red dice as well, as it happens. It's not like she's studying any yellow animals. So, but I, I still got to assume that this might be stolen. So I want to put it in my most valuable spot. I want to get more prestige, which gives me experts immediately, as an example. Um, right. And let's see, then my next most valuable, we'll go with that, and we'll go with that, and we'll go with that. Oh, there's an interesting thing. Because I'm the first player, I could put my most valuable die right here because I know no one can steal it from me, which means if anybody wants to steal my dice, they have to give me rewards. But the question is, do I want to use this yellow six immediately? Well, I could turn into red immediately. But really, what I'd like to do is um, use... I'd like to go get some experts, too. I mean, there's all these experts. Wait, and I've got these low-value dice to get experts, because every time I get an expert using dice, I get two points. So is that the first thing I want to do? Yeah, I mean... If so, I mean... Ugh. I mean, I could go out and do this right away, but I'd like to get another animal. I'd like to get some more experts first. So I'm, I'm going to leave it over here. I'll put that over there. I'll go like that. And hopefully, if Jen wants to steal something... I mean, I, well, she used to like the purple. She doesn't necessarily care about them anymore. Uh, but anyway, so that's that. Jen's got hers. She's got a side where she's putting them. She'll put... She kind of values her red one more than her yellow three. Because, again, because of the red. So if I'm going to steal it, she wants to get something for it. And then she'll put those there and there. All right. So, okay. Fine. All right. And so now we begin round two. And what am I going to do? I I think I would like to get another red. All right. So the only red animal I could get right now is this one. And what kind of overlap do they have? They, they share only one overlap. So that's not really great. It, it's great that I could uh, study both of them in one trip, but I would only be able... I mean, and I could study anything I want off of them. But remember, when I publish, I want to have a lot of flexibility. Although... Let's see here. Does this uh, little hamster have anything to do overlap there? Again, no. Even less overlap. Zero for zero. Yikes. Yeah, okay, so. I want to get those experts because I get those points off those experts. And I think of all of them. Well, interestingly, both of these are rainy day. The, these are uh, wetlands creatures. And so I think I want him, which means I want to recruit him with a yellow. So I could use either of mine. But no, Jen just gave me this one, and I don't, I don't lose, I don't. She doesn't benefit at all, so I will use that to come up here, and I will get this yellow expert, which because it matches the color, gives me another expedition token. And now at the end of the game, I will have plus two more in the wetlands to try and get those bigger and bigger points uh, off of these, off of this trait that I was already planning on studying. So I'm pretty happy with that. But most importantly, maybe not most importantly, still it's not nothing. Two points. We're getting an expert. Woohoo! Okay, and now Jen is up. And, right, Jen uh, is fairly happy that uh, she still has her one. She wants to go out and get this little uh, uh, squirrely squirrel. Because if you look at them, there's a nice bit of overlap. They are both Americas, and they both have three of the, of the same. They're both mammals. They're both herbivores. They're both tree-dwelling. So Jen could try to fill up a lot of this on one trip and then have a bigger payday. Although, remember, uh, although I, I see, and, and she'd probably want to do this one as well because she's got this. So this would be her lead. She wouldn't study that, but she'd study that, etc., etc. So Jen's pretty happy about that. The sad thing is because she came here with a one, she just gets one notoriety, which is uh, not that great. So she does not get a free animal, but that's okay. All right, so it is my turn. And um, I think it is now time to uh, go to America. My six is still available. It's the wrong color. But I will just go on ahead and convert it using this into the correct color and come over here to America, which gives me three. One, two, three. I get another expert. Now, I won't get the bonus because I have to spend dice to get expert to get that bonus, but I do get another expert now. Uh, I'll go for this. It's nice. Uh, I mean, you know, th this is an action that you uh, do sometimes. This makes that action much more attractive because you get points in addition to the expedition tokens. And just like that, I've got four. Two of them are yellow. And remember, there's a color. The more I get of a certain co of the same color at the end of the game, the more points I could get. I'm kind of all over the place. Worry about that later. All right, so I uh, did that. I got another expert, and now I'm coming here. I'm coming with a base of six. Now, what do I want to do? I can only study this one, and I want to study the level three. 
And I want to study the level uh, the level four and the level two because both of those match over here. No, I want to study all of this. So I want to study everything except for the fact that this is a tree liver and this is a grasslands liver. So that is going to be a four plus a two plus a one. That is 10, 14, 15, 16. I need a level 16 expedition to study almost everything about this bird. But I think I can do it. I'm already at six. Um, here's, uh, so, uh, here we go. Uh, remember all that uh, in investment I got? There's 10 plus 6 is 16. Done. Done, done, done. I know almost everything there is to know about this bird. Okay, cool. There we go. And I'm just not going to bother with that because there's no overlap between there. But I'm going to get I'm going to get a much bigger it's taking me more time, but I'm going to get a much bigger um, you know, publishing bonus than Jen did. But remember Jen kind of wants fast publishings. So, anyway, that was that. And uh, oh, and I don't don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. By the way, I get plus one when I use red dice. I can't forget that. Uh, I've got so many powers now. All of a sudden. Anyway, though, so that was my second turn, right? Yep. And so now it is Jen's second turn. So she could go. I mean, mm, yeah, Jen. I mean, she's got this plus five. That is very nice. She doesn't have any red dice, though. She could give me three points to take that, but it'd be better off using one of these to convert this five into a red five, standing by. Uh, here's an interesting thing. If Jen goes to the American Society now, she'll move forward two on her track, but she'll get plus one on her die because she'll be um, you know, riding on my coattails. I blaze the trail. Jen could get something out of it now as well if she wants to study those critters. And let's see, but what does she want to do? She wants to do a super study. She wants everything here. So that's 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus uh, 7. So, <laughs> so that's like well over 30. So if she wants to get super maximum impact, she needs to do a lot more preparing. Which uh, means, for example... Uh, you know, taking, oh, I don't know, this green. Oh, now here's the deal. Is Jen going to spend this green five? She figures I might want it because I've got a green animal to study. So she will purposely spend this blue to come up here uh, to get three more expeditions, which is plus six more to whatever she's going to do. She turned a five into a six, basically, for a future expedition. And... She left this here, hoping I will take it, so that she will get to move up two more and get another animal to study for free. We'll see if I take the bait. Um, I do need to go study this. And I think I am going to take the bait. I am going to go down under. All right. Which means Jen gets three points. One, two, three. For me using her die. And I get uh, three prestige. One, two, three. I just got three coins, which is going to help. And I just got... Uh, uh, an animal. Which animal do I want? Oh, if there were only some green animals, I could study both of them, but there are not. So, I need to look. Let's see, I, I, neither match the continent, but do any of these match my, um, my, the attributes? Let's see. Uh, specifically, are there any, there are no rainy ones, and I really like rainy. There are, are there, there's a carnivore. Carnivore bird matches with that. Yeah. So, this, uh, vulture has... Oh, that's interesting. It has three matches. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's go on ahead and do that. So this is the bird I got for free by moving my prestige up. Okay, so there we go. We're already having a very successful expedition. Very happy so far. So now I want to study uh, 10 plus uh, 4 plus 2. I want 16 points again. I'm sitting on 5. Here we are at 10. 11, 12, 13, or 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can see I'm choosing to spend my money instead of my expedition tokens. Expedition tokens can only be used to increase the value of expeditions, but they can always be used for the color change. You know, let's throw one of these in and keep a little bit of money back. All right. So I'm just giving myself a little bit more flexibility. So I just pumped, uh, I think that's five. Oh, yeah. Um, and no bonus. Five, 10. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I did it again. All right. I've done another huge bit of study. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And, uh, and that's it.
So, uh, and Jen, she got some points out of that too. Now, Jen has no choice. She has to give me benefits. So she's going to start out by giving me no benefit uh, because she'll, she'll take that. And uh, well, of low value die, uh, let's see here. She will just go and get some cash. Five bucks. Five bucks is five bucks. All right, so she's getting ready for a big expedition, I think, to the Americas. And uh, she didn't give me anything. So now, whichever die I take, Jen has to take the other. Do I want her to give me three points? Do I want her to give me two coins? What do I want to do? Um, hmm. I could do just about anything. But I think I want to go study this new uh, bird. I think I want to go down under. So let's do that. So, since it's a purple, I'm going to have to use an expedition to change the color. But let's go on ahead and do this three. Because this one is really a two. And plus, this is going to mean Jen will have to give me two coins. I'd rather have two coins than three points at this point in the game. So I'm using this to turn this from a red two into a purple two. And uh, so I'll just mark that here. And I just got three more. One, two, three. Boom. I just uh, got one of these without having to publish. Yeah, so this is another plus five if I want it. All right, so, and what do I want? So I want to, the level one, the level two, so that when I publish, I can publish all of these. I could do the level three, but I didn't do the level three over here. So if this is my reference, I don't think it makes any sense. So I think I'm just going to do the one and the two. That means I need six. I've got um, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And I'll save this one for a rainy day. And that gave me the base information of the, uh, the, the genus and the, uh, their carnivores. All right. So... That's going to work out well. When I publish, I'm going to publish all three of these, and all of these cubes are going to make it over here, and they're going to start piling up to score me big bonus points at the end of the game. And now Jen has no choice. She must give me two coins. All right. And you know what? Since I knew those two coins were coming, I think um, I had spent coins to bump that die up instead because I would have rather had one of these. So, uh, all right. So I spent two coins. I just got the two coins back. So where is Jen going to go with this yellow Yellow three. You know what? I think Jen is going to go get another expert. And it's going to be a yellow expert. And that means she gets another uh, what's it? Because they match. And now when Jen studies level three, she makes points. She wants to study the level three attributes of both of these creatures. So she's pretty happy with that. Okay, folks, we have done it. Round two is over. And now both Jen and I have the option in turn order of taking an extra fifth turn if we want. And so, um, but I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to save those. So bye-bye, experts. Bye-bye, animals. Hello, bag of dice. I think we're going to make an encyclopedia. Yeah, that was really good. All right, so everything goes back in. Ah! Round three, the experts say, hey, everybody gets a free animal. Nice. Got to put those animals out. And um, I'm still first. I don't think... You know, oh, wait. Jen did go to the bank, didn't she? When she did that as the first player, she snagged the first player token. So she's going to get first dibs on a freebie animal. By the way, with more players, there would be more animals on display, as you might imagine. Is there space for more here? All right. There we go. Some new critters. Some new experts. Do 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 There we go. And um, some new dice. Let's see, I think I think we get the dice after, so we have to pick first. So Jen's like eyeballing. Hey, another North American animal. That's pretty nice. And they're mammals. And it's another. There's oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, Jen is totally getting the beaver. Oh, look at that cute little beaver. Oh, the art in this game is so fantastic. Jen is saving up for a really big super trip. All right, okay. And so now, what's she giving to me? Hmm. Arr. Don't know. Don't know. I think I'm. I'm. I'm happy. That I'm gonna. I'm gonna publish this pretty quick. So I want to start working on my next bunch of stuff. And remember, there is stuff about colors. Are there any yellow animals? No, there aren't. Yes, there is. I am going to study the African elephant, Loxodonta africana. Oh yeah. I assume Loxodonta has something to do with noses, right? Anyway, though. So. This is a new one for me to be working on along with all the others. All right, and then new ones come out. And, oh, the cute little uh, Volps Zer Zerda. Cute little fox. And a kangaroo. All right, so that's gone. New dice. And Jen is now the first player. Jen's got a lot of purples, and I've got one, two, three, four. Ooh, a lot of high-value dice this time. So... 
once again, we have to decide how we're going to do this. We have to, um, and then Jen will be first out. Wait, oh, she, no, there's her other die. And then we'll be first out of the gate. Um, interestingly, only one red, and it's not a particularly good one. But Jen's feeling pretty good. I mean, but if she wants to study three animals at the same time, she might still do some more studying. I mean, this red is important to her. Uh, yeah, so she'll just put her low. But remember, since Jen is the first player, she could put her most valuable thing right here. And then since she's the first player, she could use it. Nobody else. Now, if anybody steals from her, she'll always get good stuff. So that's a possibility. And meanwhile, me, I've got no purple. I'm probably going to be going and borrowing some purple from Jen to... Oh, wait, no, no. I'm yellow. Yay! I've got yellow. And there we go, I think. There we go. Okay. So, Jen is first out of the gate. So, I mean, what has she got? If she... If she um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 23, 28. Jen could do, if she spends everything with this little guy, she could do a 28 value. Which sounds like a lot, except if she wants to study the level 4 of all the... Oh, no, she only wants to study the level 4 of this. She does not care about cold climates. So when she goes to the Americas, she wants to study that. And that'll be 10. And then she probably wants to study the climates. So that'll be uh, 14. So that's a 24 of her 28. And then, uh, then she could... Oh, but she wouldn't have quite enough to be a fully efficient. Because she'd like to pick up all of the herbivore in one trip. If she could study all of that stuff, it would be amazing amazing so I don't think Jen is ready to rush out yet so I think instead Jen is going to um, come over here with a six and turn that six but um, and now if I take anything from her she has uh, she gets a bonus and what she is she just got six more points on a future expedition all right and she I mean I'm let's see just oh I'm the one who wants to be doing this because I get two points every time I go over there all right so my turn. I think it is time to publish some findings. I'm going to... Jen didn't take this. That's why I put it here. Because I knew... I mean, this is the most valuable... If she's going to take it, I want my most valuable thing. I wanted to wrap around and start building up again. I am going to publish. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to publish this. This is the beginning. I want to publish... Right. Which is my reference animal? This one or this one? Okay. I'm going to take this green. Actually, I should have gone like this. The green was the most important thing to me. I, right. So I'm going to use this to publish... Uh, and this is going to be my reference, so they match. I don't have to change the color. But if I want to publish level 4 stuff, I need to spend a coin to turn this from a 5 into a 6. So that means I can publish level 4s. And now, um, let's start going. Everybody who has something in common with this, uh, with this uh, Flamingo, I guess, is going to uh, get some stuff. So, Flamingo, level 4. Hey, both of these are all about the rainy seasons. Oh my gosh, I think I was not giving my... I have not been giving myself points as I've been studying. Oh, I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Let's see, so that's three, six, seven, eight, nine. I should have nine more points. Um, oopsie. And folks, that's why you always watch the Klingon subtitles turn on. I tend to forget things. Anyway, though, so now let's go over. So we've got both of these. Uh, this is seven points for every level four trait. And so they both go here. So that is 14 points. 2, 3, 4, 15 to 25. Now, let's move on to the level 2s. Uh, right, so nothing there. So uh, the level 3s. Now let's move on to level 2s. I've got three of them. Oh, wait, no. That's a meat eater. That's a meat eater. Oh, no. You know what? I shouldn't have studied that. I totally shouldn't have studied that. It was a meat eater. That was totally wrong. I just... Uh. All right, well, that was dumb. That was dumb. All right, so anyway, I've got two car, um, uh, omnivores. And uh, the level twos give me three, so that's six more points. Two, three, four, five, six. Then we go on to, all right, so they're all birds. And um, those give me two points. So that's six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a bunch of birds I've studied. And, um, right, and unfortunately, none of these other ones match. So I get one point for this thing matching its own continent, but the other ones don't match the continent. And now, this is the reference. I keep this for in-game scoring. 
These ones didn't match the continent, so they both go. And I was an idiot, and I wasted time and money on that. So these are out of the game. So I've only got one banked to combine with bonus points for my experts. I'm not doing very well on colors. But anyway, so that was that. But I've scored a bunch of points. And remember, at the end of the game, I'm going to get to put two more cubes over here and pushing myself even higher. So I'm star. I am on the map. I've got a new animal ready to start studying. And it is Jen's turn. And folks, I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a basic idea of the flow of Encyclopedia. If you'd like to hear some final thoughts, now you can hit that I in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.